curious to ask you about how certain categories of experience have changed. And one that I'm particularly curious about, given our audience, is actually related to discipline, willpower, drive, you know, work ethic. Um, I'd love to hear how your relationship to motivating and catalyzing action out of yourself has changed over the years as you've moved kind of more into the, the witness and then, you know, beyond beyond it as well. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, you know, my, my, I don't hold myself up as an example at all, but what seemed to happen for me was that um, I got, um, I got my ambition blown out of the water and, um, and then what replaced it was a sense of, of, of a kind of love. I don't know what else to call it. A sort of loving silence and a loving peace and a, and um, it wasn't, it, I didn't feel like it was anything to do with me. It was just something that I'd sort of found, I'd got to, that was already here. I just hadn't really stably inhabited it before or vice versa, it inhabited me, I don't know. But I was kind of connected to it or part of it. And, I, and then I wanted to just do whatever little things I could do to help. And, and I started doing hospice work you know, in, in the best that I could, you know, I don't know whether I was any good at it or whatever, but I used to do it and just hang out with people in their final months. And I started going to the prison to teach meditation or, you know, I mean, I say teach, just sort of try to help people do whatever meditation they wanted to do. And I, and then I, I was, um, you know, I was, I was asked by the, you know, my teachers to, to start formally sort of being a Zen teacher. And, and I, I, I did, and, and um, it's kind of morphed into not just Zen now, but sort of mindfulness and associated practices, basically, um, including Zen, insofar as you can distinguish Zen from a more general picture. And, and so, you know, the, the orientation moved for me or the motivation really just became less i suppose in a sense it became less about my own projects and now some people would say well i don't want that you know um but for me it's it's been a very happy thing it's been a very liberating thing actually funny enough just now i mean literally in the last six months or something i've been i've been getting more <laughs> interested in once again sort of well not just writing poems but actually wanting to i'm thinking about publishing a new book of poems actually so i'm sort of i mean that is a little bit more like a project for henry and so i'm sort of i'm kind of carefully watching you know how much do old habits around that kick in and giving space for that to happen and and uh, but so far, it's, I feel that the kind of poems I'm writing and wanting to share are intended to help people in their lives and also in their in their practice. You know, whatever they've got a sort of, I guess, a kind of contemplative flavor. You know, I'm curious, Henry, if you have a poem at the ready that you'd be uh, open to sharing with the audience. No pressure to, but yeah yeah let me let me i hadn't damn that's you put me on the spot let me see i'm going to pull one up um take it take your time passenger passenger when the last moorings have been released the line swung loose the hull has parted from the key and you feel the new flow carry you as if it had been waiting just for you all this time don't imagine it's you who engineered this current, which, although so smooth, has the unseen power of a great river. It's like that first time you swam when you were seven or eight and you lifted your toes clean off the bottom of the pool and to your astonishment, the water held you. You hovered like a cloud in the sky your shadow flickering over the blue land beneath. So now all you've done is give yourself over against all instincts and found that you're held 
and that what carries you knows where to take you and there's no reason not to let it and you do and in doing so you realize you've just found the answer that had always eluded you wow that's uh that's gorgeous that actually um beautifully answered the question that i asked you as well about discipline and drive so <laughs> If what you've heard on Flow Research Collective Radio has been helpful, please consider doing us a solid and leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you are listening to this. Reviews help us connect to a wider audience so we can get these peak performance principles out to more people. 